In this session, I'm going to cover SARSA Learning, which is an acronym for State Action Reward State Action Learning. It is a modified Q-Learning algorithm where target policy is same as behavior policy. I will not describe the Q-Learning algorithm in detail here, but if you don't know Q-Learning algorithm well, then you can watch my video on the same where I describe all the concepts involved in Q-Learning in detail. The link for the video is there in the pop-up card above. So in Q-Learning, when the agent is in state S and it takes action A, it receives an immediate reward R and transitions into state S dash. Now, once in state S dash, our agent knows all the actions that are available in S dash and the agent will also know the Q values for all the state action pairs in state S dash and that it will know from the current values in Q table. Now, important thing to note here is that the agent does not take any of these actions. The agent only considers these actions for learning and for learning it chooses one of these actions according to target policy and for Q learning that target policy is always the greedy policy so the Q learning agent will choose the action in state S dash for which the action value is maximum and that it will use to calculate the target action value for updating the Q value. Now in SARSA, the target policy is same as the behavior policy. So to calculate the target action value, the SARSA agent will use action according to behavior policy because target policy is same as behavior policy. So for SARSA learning, the target Q value will be just R plus gamma into Q S dash A dash. And here this action A dash is selected according to behavior policy. Whereas in Q learning, we were doing maximum with respect to A dash of action value. So if we look at the update equation for Q values for Q learning and SARSA, then here note that the only difference is in this term. Here we have maximum with respect to action A dash in state S dash, whereas here we have just the Q value corresponding to action A dash, which is determined by behavior policy in state S dash. In fact, that's why the name of this learner is SARSA, that is state action reward state action. And here note that both the actions that is A and A dash are according to our behavior policy. So in SARSA, the two consecutive state action pairs and the immediate reward received by the agent while transitioning from first state to next state determine the updated Q value. So this method is called SARSA. And because the target policy is same as behavior policy, SARSA is an on policy learning algorithm.